Okay. So once we finish the calibration, um, the first thing we want to do is set our zero. The zero is the position, the start position from which where we're going to start scanning. Uh, I chose my zero on this side of the plate. It could be this side of the plate as well. Once I set my zero, then I'm going to decide my skews, which is skew 90, which is the left side and the skew 270 is the right side. So the way we decide that is using the right hand rule. So place the right hand on the plate such that your fingers point in the direction going away from zero. So my zero is on this side. I point my fingers going away from zero because that's the direction I'm going to start scanning. Then the thumb points on the 270 side. So when I place my transducer on this side of the plate, I'm going to call it skew 270, which will be this way. And then let me see if it's this way, okay? And then when I put the transducer on this side of the plate, it's gonna be skew 90, which will be facing this way. Once we decide the skews and the zero, the next immediate step is to decide the index offsets. Index offset is the distance of the front of this wedge from the center line of the weld. So the way we decide index offsets is by looking at the screen on the S scan and um, so I constructed the weld the way it looks physically and also based on the designs that were provided by the client. Um, and once I draw that weld on the S scan, I'm going to select the index offset and it adjust it such that I get a good coverage on the root for first index offset and then I move it further so I get a good coverage on the top half of the weld in the second leg. And I make a note of that index offset right here. So those will be my two index offsets. So the first one which was focused on the root was negative 0.625 which is right along the toe of the weld. 0.625 and then the second index offset for covering the top half of the weld was 1.5 so I'm gonna point one point mark 1.5 from the center line of the weld to either sides of the weld and then put those straight lines and then scan with my transducer along those lines so that's your index offsets